is a place where fun and science meets. Of course, other than the Weather Authority here at Fox 2. <laughs> one of the gems just across the state line, and it's called Imagination Station. That is the uh, place where fun and science meet. Mm -hmm. They intersect right there in the weather office yeah. down the hall exactly. where these guys hang out. Um, our very own meteorologist, Alan Longstreet, sort of got a taste of uh, this exhibit that's happening in yeah. Toledo. It's coming up here where you felt like you were in the midst in the in the eye of the storm or it what It was intense. They have this wind tunnel that uh for, you know, most of their guests, you know, a lot of little kids, they allow the winds to go up to like 80, 90 miles per hour. Uh, but for me, they were so kind to let me go up to uh, what was it, 160 miles per hour in that wind tunnel. So um, it was an experience. It experience didn't look pleasant at all. No, it was. Uh, once was enough. Okay. We'll say that let's, once was enough. Uh, let's so, see. So we'll check it out. Here we have what we call the hurricane chamber. Our visitors can come in and experience a category one hurricane at about okay. 90 miles per hour. For you though, we're gonna crank it up to a category five, 160, 160 miles. 60 miles. Okay. Are you ready for this? I guess so. Let, let's hop in and ready see. Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, so there's a little bit of a breeze. We are right now. We're at 30 miles per hour. This is nothing, nothing. right? Okay. But uh, we're gonna slowly crank it up. We're gonna get into the violent storm range right about now, about 55 miles right, per hour. Right. Um, and it's going to keep going, and right now we're passing the strong gale winds. We're getting up to Category 1 hurricane. We're about 80 miles per hour here. This is only 80 miles an hour. 80 miles per hour now. And you're actually got to come closer to me, man. You're, 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 I feel like L. It's all meteorologists think it's putting it Stuff, but those winds, they can actually... Those winds are dangerous because right? projectiles like a pencil flying at that speed can be incredibly dangerous. Let me show you how, Let's all right? What we've got is what we call our tornado cannon, all uh -huh. right? We're gonna take this pencil and stick it in the end of the tube here, and then we're gonna shoot a blast of compressed air through the tube. Now, we've measured this with a high-speed camera. The pencil gets going about 300 to 200 miles per hour, uh -huh. all right? So down here, we got a block of wood, and we're gonna give it a blast. You ready? Yeah. That pencil just went through the block of wood. Did the pencil lodge itself? Look at that. Now, can you imagine if you're in a hurricane or near a tornado at those high wind speeds, that's what could happen to you or anything around you. Serious With even stuff. something as right, simple right, as right, a pencil. Right. Incredible. Having fun and learning at the Imagination Station. <laughs> Carl, thanks again. Appreciate sure. it. Oh, that was cool. Glad there are no pencils in that wind tunnel. Wow. Right. Yeah. So serious stuff. And they're going to be with you guys at Comerica yeah. Park. Right? That was Carl Nelson. He's the experiment extraordinaire. He will be there uh, for Weather Day. You can still sign up. It's uh, in the beginning of May. We've got the link uh, over on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. So you can get in that and do the whole wind I don't know. They're not going to bring the wind tunnel. Well, okay. it, they're going to do a lot of cool experiments right. to be determined. But if you like what you saw, you're going to like what will be there. All right. Good stuff. <laughs> we'll be back with much more in our next hour.